Good afternoon, everybody. So here I am in my Jayco 14 uh, HW high walls, and I got a problem with the roof raising. It's about 10 years old. The roof is not going up level. I have two front corners, and they're about two or three inches uh, below what they should be. So I've been using two by fours when I get to the site, if I could jack it up. Jack it up, squeeze in the two by fours, just to raise it up that extra couple inches so I can get the door on and hope for the best. So I figured I better take a look and see what it is. And this is what it is. So this is a Jayco wench. I've done a video before showing the Jayco wench. But here it is again. So that's it. That's the cable. And uh, it's a little loose right now because I do have it jacked up. But let me try to get this a little bit better here. Um, these are all over the place right now just because it's so loose. But it was so, it was actually pretty tight. Uh, it's not a good view. But this thing's gotta be level, right? Sorry, I'll try to. This platform here, it's got to be level uh, and straight. It can't be on an angle. It can't be. So when it tightens up, it uh, all the cables are have the same amount of tension, and that's what was happening. They were all having the same amount of tension. This is a channel that they come through. They go through there. And the problem was, or is, problem is that when we get to one of the far corners at the front, the uh, it still dropped about three inches, and all the uh, all the tension cables are tense, or all seem to have the same tension and everything. So I backtracked this to uh, I checked the cable system. I removed the couch. That would be the cable at the front. And it was slack. The cable was slack coming across here. Here it is here. So when it's tight at the front, it was like this. So I wondered why. So I went back here. And as you can see, I must have had a leak over time. And it all rotted. The wood underneath rotted. So, the wood underneath rotted, here's my pulley system, and it was pulling the pulley system out, and this part was digging in the floor, and this part was being pulled up, and so the cables themselves over here were getting jammed and wedged underneath the spring, uh, spring mount, and once they were wedged, um, they weren't moving. Lucky I didn't snap it. But that's why there was slack on it because it wasn't carrying across anymore so this is all wet and uh, I don't want to open up a new can of worms other than the ones I've already opened and so what I've done is I've removed this thing uh, the, the pulley and I'm gonna try to brace it I put my hand outside here try to brace it from underneath and then once I brace it from underneath, I'm going to put a wood, it's a bit of a channel here. Put a piece of wood in here, screw it to the wood I put underneath, and hopefully screw this to the piece of wood. And then hopefully that'll work temporarily. I got a couple other soft spots in this camper, and uh, you know, I've replaced part of the floor before. And uh, I hate to do it because it's a pain in the ass to get it removed. Uh, like I'm standing where the couch is, and the couch is up there. Microwave is there. It's a pain in the ass. So, anyways, that's where I'm at. Uh, hopefully, I can get this done in the next hour and get that pulley back on. See how it goes. Watch for part two.